Hey there, welcome to episode 9 of this Koala Sampler tutorial series. And what we're looking at today is the time stretching functions with inside of Koala. So in order to set this up and demonstrate it, I needed to create just a very simple sequence, which I've done here. Now don't worry, the sequencing video is coming along very shortly. Um, so you don't need to worry too much about what I've done here. It's very simple though, it's just a case of literally uh, tapping in the drums where we want them. I've created a four bar loop. And I've also chose a BPM here. Now we needed to set a BPM for our project. And essentially whenever you time stretch something, that's what it's going to do. It's going to time stretch it to the BPM that you have set here uh, when you're setting up your beat in your project. Um, and what it's using is just a couple of drums. So we've got a very basic drum loop, which I'll play you. Uh, let's mute this first so you can just hear the drums. Very simple stuff. Uh, we'll unmute that now. And what I want to do is I want to play you the sample so you can hear that before we time stretch it. We're going to go over here so that we can actually look at the wave file because that'll be useful. Let's click on here. And uh, yeah, I'll just play you this through. Pay attention to the fact that this is a slow sample. I created the sample myself. I know that it's four bars long. That's why I created my drum loop to be four bars. Um, and I know that when I created this, I can't remember the tempo exactly, but I know it's a lot slower than 86 BPM. So just pay attention to that. Now, what we need to do, uh, let's just play it as it is. So inside of the sequencer window, this long bar at the bottom here represents that sample. Uh, I know that because I can uh, sort of audition it here. But that's our long sample playing alongside of our drums. Now, it's already set up to play. So if I play this now, the sample is just going to play at its current tempo alongside the drums. And if we listen to that... course that doesn't sound very good because we haven't stretched it. Now uh, what a koala can do is it can time stretch this sample for us. Now time stretching is something that I don't really use very often if I'm being honest. Um, however of course it's a big function of this and you might uh, need to do a lot of time stretching for depending on your needs. Uh, so of course I'm going to cover it here. Uh, let's go back and take a look at this uh, sample. So in this little drop down menu here we went through the edit window in the last episode. Uh, I want you to be able to see where the stretch option is. And then if we click on this red bar at the top here, it gives us all of our time stretching options. Now, if we just click time stretch, that should have done a pretty good job. Um, but we have got some choices here. So if you're familiar with like Ableton, some other um, uh, DAWs, they have various different time stretching like algorithms. And essentially that will just play around with the um, uh, sort of the sound. Uh, so if we if we play modern, it's going to try and do its best version of time stretching it and keeping the audio as it is um, without trying to lose too much quality or adjusting the sound too much. If we choose something like retro, it's going to start introducing um, certain like artifacts and kind of noises and harmonics that are familiar with like that old retro kind of style of time stretching. And beats is uh, obviously more useful when you're trying to time stretch a beat. It's going to try and do a better job of like getting that to sort of fit. Uh, and repitch is going to repitch, but I'll preview them so you uh, you can hear them. And what you can immediately hear is that it has sped that sample right up because, of course, I know that it was at a much lower tempo than 86. So in order to fit our four bar loop and time stretch it to the sample uh, or to the drums, even it has now done its best job at like, yeah, speeding that up. So if we do it in retro mode, just try and listen to the sound. There is definitely a different kind of sort of um, set of kind of like harmonics to it. And then beats. And you can hear some of those artifacts and it kind of struggling a little bit to get things to fit. You have to play around. It's the same with Ableton. You have to play around with the settings and see which algorithm works the best. For this case, it's probably going to be modern, but I just wanted to take you through a few of these so you know exactly what they're doing. Uh, and if we do repitch, you'll hear it. It just basically repitches it.
Now that's going to be the best in terms of the sound quality because it's not trying to distort it too much. Uh, however, if you want to keep your sample in the same pitch, then I, th I would say for this example, modern is going to be the best way to go. So now when we click modern, um, we'll be able to just set it with that algorithm. Uh, now, the other things to remember here is that we've got some other options. We can set the duration. And basically, at the moment, it's set to four bars. The drum loop is four bars and the... Uh, the sample is a four bar loop, so it makes sense to have them both set at the same. Um, however, if we wanted to play around with that, we could set this to two bars, and if you listen, it's gonna speed it up even more to squish it into that two bars. Uh, and of course, it's gonna do the same for however you do this. If we do one bar, it'd probably be more extreme. And of course, if we go the other way, we can slow it down. And it's going to spread that sample out over eight bars instead of the four. Uh, for this thing, we're just going to keep it at four bars. Uh, we can set custom um, durations and things like that in here. Uh, but just so that you're aware that all of these like uh, features are here. So let's click OK. Now, of course, when we go back to our sequence, um, our sample is still set up. But now, instead of it playing out of time, because this sample was much slower than our beat, it's all been time stretched into fit. And it should play pretty well. Okay, and that is essentially uh, time stretching in a nutshell. So I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care, and I'll see you then.